I think you gotta look outside the box a little bit. I mean, you're looking at things that you're noticing in the game. I'm always asking myself questions or, 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 of why and how. I think those are important to be answered because um, as a fan, I'd want to know that. One of them that I, I started working on yesterday, it's about Mike Meyer, the Braves pitcher. He, um, he, he had been uh, pretty awful for, uh, for a stretch. And then the Braves decided to skip his start and since then he's been great. So um, there have been a couple stories about why, but I went with a little bit different angle and I wanted to get his take and a couple of the people's takes on, on why he's been better. For more on Mike Minor, let's check in with Kevin Burkhardt. Kev? Well, when you're Minor, Gary, in 10 starts before early August when the Braves actually skipped his start, you have a 7-3-3 ERA. It can't get much worse than that, and he's obviously been a lot better. Ronnie, you talked about his stuff. Favorite spot in City Field? Well, I've got a couple. Definitely the Cellar Club is one. My man Raul takes care of me up there, brings me the coffee, the tea. It's like I'm at home on my couch, and then I get to do a couple hits on TV. And then the Shea Bridge is awesome because the fans are great out there. I always have good chatter with them, and I just like the backdrop of the shot when they show me out there. So um, I'm also usually seen stuffing my face out there, too. So those are my two faves. I mean, I think social media is important. You know, I use it a lot as a news service, to be honest, following people from around the country in different sports and, and just as, as a news feature. But, I mean, socially here, I think it is important to connect with, with the, the fans and your fans. I mean, I think it makes you personal. You know, I mean, I don't just tweet about the Mets. I tweet about everything. I think some people really like that about me. If they don't, sorry. I love the interaction with the fans. Walk around the stadium, that's how you really get reactions, you know, and people watch everything. They'll comment on things I did three weeks ago, just, hey, what's up, can we take a picture? Um, I really love the interaction. I, I love the fans, they've been great to me here, and it's a huge part of, uh, I think, why this has been so fun for me. It's very rare where I'm re really on the run and I can't stop to say hello or respond to somebody, so it's, I love it. I love walking around the park and people are next to you and they know they're gonna be on TV, and I'm just like, just play it cool, man, you know? If you jump around and act like a fool, you're not going to be on TV because they're going to cut away from the shot. If you stand there, maybe give a nice casual wave, you're good. But if you act like a fool, they're going to cut away from the shot. So I try to tell the, the, the knowledge behind that. If you just act normal, you'll get your, your fame. It's bittersweet in a way. You know, I mean, I think... I don't think it's totally hit me yet that uh, I won't be back. And when you've been doing something for eight years, it's uh, essentially almost a quarter of my life. It's a long time. It's weird, you know, I've, I've had so much compassion from people stay or one more year, which is really sweet and it's really touching. In, in the end, it's been a big part of my life. This job, the people uh, that I've met along the way, and um, I'm excited, very excited about what's next, but I'm certainly gonna miss this. This job has really made me a better broadcaster. I mean, I, I didn't have much TV experience at all when I started, um, you know, and now I think I have quite a bit, and I think I've gotten a lot better through the coaching of some really good producers. So that's helped, you know, it's given me the confidence to, to be who I am, and, and, and my role, which was kind of, um, you know, started out as one thing and really morphed into this um, really huge role on the broadcast, I could have never, we're seeing that coming. It's been, it's been a great ride. Mm -hmm.